So you want to control stuff? Have an openable door, create a line, create a rectangle, make it look nice. With the Select and Link tool, link the rectangle to the line, right click on it, and open Curve Editor. In the Curve Editor, right click the X position, assign controller, float, limit. Move the rectangle to the left so that it goes outside the line, and drag the lower limit up until it starts to move. Just move it until you are in the beginning of the line. Do the same thing on the right side, so drag it outside the line and pull the upper limit down until it starts to move and make sure that it is in the end of the line. Go to Hierarchy, Link Info, lock everything except the Move X. Now, you cannot move it in any direction except along the line. If you move the line, however, the rectangle will follow nicely. Let's fancy it up a little bit. Make a rectangle, round the corners, add some text. Let's name it door, open, close, scale it down. Link the line and the text to the rectangle. Give them all a white color. Now if you move the rectangle, everything will follow nicely. Go to Animation, Reaction Manager. Chances are you've never heard about this before. In the Reaction Manager, click the green plus to add a reaction driver. Click on the rectangle, go to Transform, Position, X Position, and Limit Controller. This is the one we just created. Now click the door that you want to be able to open. Click the plus add selected. We can go to transform, rotation. I think it's Z rotation. Now all we have to do is to click create mode, move the rectangle, open the door, click this button called create state. Unclick create mode and you now move the rectangle. The door will follow nicely. Good thing with this is that if you copy the door, they will be individually controllable like this. You can do other cool things with this. So let's make a copy of this. Let's say you want to control a dishwasher. So let's create a new one. Same as before, click the rectangle, transform position, X position, base your float. Want to have this one, add transform rotation, X rotation. Select these, transform position, Y position. Add this one, transform position, Y position. Same with this one. Now create mode, move the slider halfway open the door, create state, move the slider all the way. Now the door is open wrong. Let's ignore that. Create state. And I can see that those are opening individually. You can also, if you want to, right click these add a smooth Bezier to have a little acceleration. You can see when I pull that, they start to accelerate out. So the cool thing is you can set this up with pretty complex animations if you want to. You can add them to the, your model library. And also you can add this whole thing, just a slider to the model library. So you don't have to recreate the limit controller every time. So go control things.